the number eight reason uh, you are still processing with your tax return is return error incomplete okay when you file your tax return it's important to cross check any information you've included to make sure it's accurate for instance don't mix up the numbers of state taxes withheld with federal taxes withheld that's pretty common before you submit your taxes to the irs simply take a second look <clears throat> it's not that hard take a second look fix any potential errors and make sure you filed out uh filled out each one also, if you received child tax credits payments last year, make sure the amount on the letter 6419 matches the amount you received. If any incorrect amount is entered, the IRS will need further review. OK, so that is very important. A lot of you guys are forgetting that you were receiving those little monthly payments. So uh, note that there if there is a problem that needs to be fixed after you submit your return the irs will try to proceed without contacting you this is why a lot of you can't get in contact with them that means it could be days or weeks before you even know it's a problem so a lot of you are frustrated so let's go on to the next um number seven you owe irs money <laughs> If you owe back taxes to the IRS, the agency may take some or all of your tax refund to pay off that debt. Some of you guys have been missing like over half of your money and you don't know why. This is the reason. If your refund contains more money than you owe, you'll receive the remaining balance via direct deposit or check in the mail. So they could send it through check in the mail or direct deposit. All right. Taxpayers whose refunds are used by the IRS to cover existing payment obligations to receive a 6p49 notice in the mail so you guys need to be checking the mail regularly every day to make sure this is not you okay so even if you don't owe the irs any money the agency can keep your tax refund if you have other debts to state or federal agencies so uh, that means like child support and things like that guys you can't run from these dudes you can't run from them okay so um the treasury offset program enables the irs to take all or part of your tax refund to pay obligations such as child support state taxes or unemployment compensation repayments such debts could delay the arrival of your remaining tax refund or eliminate it completely so these are the answers man okay so before we go to six i just want you guys to know that like hey it's you know if you got child support or if you like claimed unemployment and stuff like this stuff then they don't give you anything for free man okay all right so number six is wrong bank info have you changed bank accounts since you uh filed last year if so pay close attention to what the direct deposit information says when you submit your return so i know some people personally that uh, had the same exact direct deposit information because they were too lazy and they forgot that they switched banks and stuff. So the money was going to old accounts. So if you accidentally forgot to update it with your new direct deposit details, your refund will be sent back to the IRS. This will likely result in paper check, okay? So it's gonna take several weeks longer to arrive. So. <laughs> If you haven't filed yet, make sure your dang on bank information is like on par. All right. All right. So next filed on paper this year, the IRS is encouraging taxpayers to file electronically instead of direct deposit to get their refunds back more quickly with mail delays. It could take a while for the IRS to receive your paper. OK, so even longer for you to get your check back. So we we're going to skip past that one. Lord's will. Hopefully everybody has been filing electronically, but you never know. All right, so number, I don't even remember what number wrong, but child tax credit. If you filed your return in January and included the child tax credit or earned income credit on your taxes by law, the earliest you can get a refund is mid-February. So we are already in March, So, but a lot of you guys are still like, missing things okay this is to give the irs more time to prevent fraudulent refunds from being issues they mean that because there's a lot of us from the hood that got our homeboy that know how to do taxes or our home girl cousin or something like that that know how to do taxes and they be claiming stuff that they ain't supposed to be claiming just so you can beef up your return right that's they ain't playing that stuff okay so assuming there aren't any errors the irs expects most taxpayers claiming these benefits to receive their uh stuff by march 1st which didn't happen 
identity theft this is another big one if the irs flags a tax return for having a possible chance of identity theft the agency will hold your refund until your identity is verified guys like and this can take forever when i when that occurs you'll likely receive a 5071c letter that provides instructions for proving your identity if your return is legitimate don't panic the letter doesn't mean there's proof of identity theft merely a suspicion so they have these dj red alerts and stuff that go out and they trip the algorithms you know what i'm saying but it doesn't mean that it's actually you causing identity theft so just be patient all right taxpayers can verify their identity on the irs website currently requires creating the id.me which if you're not in the u.s is a headache all right or you can call this dedicated phone number listening in the irs letter okay so the next one amended return amended tax return a lot of people are suffering from this one too it can happen to anyone okay uh if you forgot a form or a major deduction or you accidentally picked the wrong filing status so that means like if you're uh the head of household but you choose single or, or, or something like that then it can mess up stuff like and you you're like what that i mean like what's the thing you know what's the point if you change your uh if you change to your return is big enough i don't know you'll want to file an amended return the irs allows anyone who files their tax return electronically to also e-file their amended return but only for the current year if you do file an amended return you'll need to practice patience the irs warns that amended returns can take up to 16 weeks to be processed it hasn't been 16 weeks yet guys so uh some of you guys fall into this lane right here and it sucks okay let's move okay now this is last but not least the number one big dog right here needs further review as mentioned above if if you see a message saying that your tax return needs further review by the irs you can expect your refund to arrive later than the average three weeks for instance if you receive a cpo7 notice it means that the irs has received your tax return and is holding your re refund until it completes a more thorough review and we all know that they can take their damn time on that so you might get this notice if you're claiming treaty benefits or deductions on the schedule a section pdf of your taxes uh, taxes if the agency finds no issues pay attention to this your refund could arrive within six to 12 weeks so even if they do a further review and you ain't do nothing wrong you still might have to be looking out for the maximum of 12 weeks and that's not even a maximum i've been hearing three to, uh you know at over five months this other dude was talking about he just now getting his from look assuming no taxes are owed if the irs does not find or if the irs does find issues with your return it'll send you a notice with instructions on what to do within that same period that means you'll get your refund months later than you anticipated that sucks guys uh if you're new to the channel sub we got more updates and hopefully it's positive ones